In today's video, I've got five facts about Belle Cronell from the series Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? slash a character analysis video. But hey, if you're new here, why not join the 4 on 4 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And a quick warning that there will be spoilers, so just a heads up. So with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. <laughs> Belle is the main protagonist of the series. He is the captain of the Hestia Familia and received the alias Little Rookie when he leveled up to a level 2 adventurer, and at level 4, his alias was changed to Rabbitfoot. Belle made his anime debut in episode 1 and volume 1 of the manga. Like my Hestia video, kind of obvious, but again, yay facts. Now, Belle is a 14 year old male human who stands at 165 centimeters, which makes him 5 foot 5. His alias of Rabbit Foot comes from his appearance, as he is said to resemble a rabbit with his white hair and dark red eyes. Also, not just those features, but Belle is often considered as cute by the many female characters he has encountered throughout the series. I guess a woman's view of a bunny is cute, but I know the majority of us guys view bunnies slightly different in the anime world, if you know what I'm saying. Not that we view Belle in that way, but throw some bunny ears on Hestia or eyes and now we're talking. <laughs> Am I right? Anyway, attire-wise, I've always liked Belle's character design. He wears lightweight armour with a brown coat that has a black patch on the right side. He will later ditch the coat when he picks up the fancy new white light armour that we see him in for the majority of the first season. Under this, he wears a long-sleeved black shirt, black pants, a beige belt, comboed with a silver buckle and shin-high brown boots. Now, fun fact before we move on, but did you know that Belle has appeared on every single light novel cover except for that of Volume 8? Personality-wise, Belle wants to be a hero, just like the ones he used to read about as a child. He certainly has the attributes, he's brave, straight to the point, cares deeply for his familiar, especially his goddess Hestia. What makes Belle such a charming character is that although he has these traits, he still has this shy side to him which I guess you could say keeps him grounded or gives him his own unique spin on the hero persona. Though it is definitely worth mentioning that Belle's intentions for becoming an adventurer in the beginning were not all, let's say, heroic. Yeah, the main reason he wanted to be this heroic adventurer is so that he could pick up girls and dreamed as far as one day having his own harem. Reminds me of my early YouTube days actually. <clears throat> Anyway, this didn't last all that long to be honest. Yes, when he ended up meeting Eyes, he did pretty much fall in love with her, but his intentions as an adventurer went from picking up girls to catching up to someone of her level and being worthy of standing beside her. Though going back to his shy side, he does get easily embarrassed when others learn of his dreams to be a hero, as most people grow out of this dream by his age. But stick to your dreams, Belle. Stick to those dreams. Belle now of course does have some bad traits. For one, he is a terrible liar and couldn't keep a secret to save his life. One of the main reasons that Hestia hasn't told him about the skill behind his extraordinarily fast growth is because she knows that he wouldn't be able to keep it a secret for very long. The second is that he is way too trusting. This trusting nature of his ended up getting him tricked out of his money multiple times before he even realised what was going on. Also, we have seen on many occasions, Belle does get flustered very easily and goes all timid, particularly around girls, which could be another reason as to why he gave up on his harem dream, but beneath the flustered person personality lies a person with a strong will and desire. This strong will and desire was so great, especially his feeling for eyes, that he earned him the skill behind his rapid growth, and the resolve to overcome his fear of minotaurs, which led to that awesome episode where he took one down while he was still level 1. Awesome. Belle's Japanese voice actor is Matsuka Yoshitsugu. He has voiced other characters such as Kirito in Sword Art Online, Sorata Kanda from The Pet Girl of Sakura So, Sora in No Game No Life, Soma Yukihira from Food Wars, and more. Belle's English voice actor is Bryson Borges. He has voiced other characters such as Takumi Aldini in Food Wars, Kimihito Kurosu from Monster Masume, Mitsuru in Darling in the Franks, Shoyo Hinata from Haikyuu, and more. Now, for Belle's backstory, Belle was raised by his grandfather Zeus, well, his adoptive grandfather. Not a lot has been mentioned about Zeus other than he was head of one of the strongest familia. Now, the Zeus familia were majorly weakened after their loss to the one-eyed black dragon, 
kind of sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh. And because of this, they were forced out of Orario. Zeus went on to become a farmer in a small village by the mountains where he would raise Bell and even save him from a goblin attack. Now to Bell, Zeus was a huge father figure and would tell him stories of heroes and adventures that would eventually give Bell his dream of becoming like these heroes in the stories he was told. Zeus was also a bit of a pervert, and this is more than likely where Bell's original harem dream came from. Unfortunately for Bell, Zeus did eventually die. Spoilers. He actually didn't. So this leads Bell to leaving the village to pursue his adventurer dream. Though upon arriving in Orario, Bell struggled to find a familiar that would accept him and he was rejected time after time until a goddess called Hestia, who was also struggling to recruit members for her familiar, eventually asked him to join her after stalking him for a short period to which Bell accepted without hesitation. Bell is currently a level 4 adventurer. It took him a month and a half to go from level 1 to 2, a month to achieve level 3, and then a further 2 months to get where he is now at level 4. As for magic, Bell only knows one spell, which is Firebolt. Bell learnt this spell from a grimoire he borrowed. This is a nice easy spell as it requires no chant, and he will sometimes combine it with a skill he has called Argonaut for stronger damage. Now Argonaut is a skill that basically charges things. At present it takes 4 minutes to fully charge. This charge will amplify attacks, boost his speed, but will break if he is attacked or loses focus. Another downside is that the recoil of this charge will break or damage whatever weapon he is using this charge on. He has used this skill to charge up his hand for a punch, and the recoil caused him to severely injure that hand. And as you can imagine, the longer this skill is activated, the worse the recoil. He has also developed a dual charge called Argo Vesta, which is the one he would combine with his only magic ability, Firebolt. Another skill he has is called Liaris Freeze, and this is the big one, I guess. This skill increases the rate of Bell's growth. The rate of the growth is in correlation with the strength of Bell's feelings, which is really fitting to his character, but I guess this skill came about due to his characteristics or whatever. Anyway, downside to this skill is that Bell becomes immune to charms. Other skills and development abilities he has are Ox Slayer, which increases all his abilities when fighting bull type monsters. Luck, which is pretty much self explanatory. Abnormal resistance negates the effects of things such as poison, and finally escape, which basically increases his speed while running away. But thanks for watching this for my video, 5 facts about Belle Crinnell from the series Is It Wrong To Try To Pick Up Girls In A Dungeon? I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more characters from this series, of course, let me know in the comments. And a quick shout out to my 4 and 4 elite Patreons, that's in Thomas, Jamie, Emma, Autumn, Joshua, and Carr. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you are interested in what rewards I have to offer on my Patreon, the link, of course, is in the description below. And while you're at it, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, as it really does help these videos reach a wider audience, and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs, peace!